guys why I do some stuff with me. Happy Halloween, Jacob. I have my microphone up here set. Music's playing. We got two minutes into the stream. I have my. Alright. So, to those of you who are going through the stream, and I want to be out, uh, today is a special Halloween stream. I'm going to be streaming all day today. Um, I do have a Halloween special already written out. I got that finished before I started this. But uh, this is a game I've been looking forward to for a long time. And since Halloween's coming up and I heard Duke 3 is more of a horror uh, game than a shoot 'em up and all that, I decided, you know what? Let's play a horror game. What better way to continue on with the Doom playthrough like this? Anyways, so let's get started with the campaign, shall we? Good marine. He's a marine. Nightmare. Very good to go. I pressure your don't shoot yourself in the foot. Alright, let's go with that then. The Union Aerospace Corporation is the largest corporate entity in existence. Originally focused on weapon and defense contracts, new ventures have expanded into biological research, space exploration, and other scientific endeavors. With unlimited funds and the ability to engage in research outside of moral and legal obligations, the UAC controls the most advanced technology ever conceived. Incoming transport detected. Approach Dark Star with U07063 passing through 38,000. Roger, Dark Star. Descend to 2000, set speed, contact ground on 26972. Roger that tower. We have them on radar, sir. They'll be landing in a few moments. Excellent. See that Counselor Swan is sent directly to me. Yes, sir. Tower, Dark Star on final. We've got the Dark Star. You are set for lockdown. Welcome back. Right. 
You're the control. And if that fails, I'm the damage. If that's what it takes, the Truger is going to start doing things our way. Whatever you say, Counselor. All right, then. Well, we just got introduced to the character. The game is running 60 FPS, which is very nice. And, uh, yeah. Welcome also, to Mars. All new arrivals need to check in at reception. Alright, one thing I gotta do real quick. Uh, game options. This is not have that. Oh, seriously? Darn it. I was hoping you guys could have could see some uh subtitles, but I guess not. Welcome to Mars City. You Jesus, use aerospace's premier really research gotta get facility. Out of here. To expedite your processing, please proceed directly to reception. What's up? I'm getting off this rock. And you should too. If you're staying here, watch your back. You should be careful. It's not safe here. Trust no one. Not even you? If you're staying here, watch your back. Okay. When you approach an interactive computer interface, uh, your weapon, equip. Okay, uh. Two shipment bins, an, an administrative supplies general, and administrative supplies dead switch. Shh, no one will know what I have done. Uh, many objects. Push. How do I put? Oh yeah, I just run into them. That is a long way down. All right then. I'm enjoying this. Question mark. Don't have a flashlight. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, let's continue onwards. Welcome to Mars, Marine. Hello. I'm gonna need you to step on one of those red squares on the floor for a bio scan. This will only take a second. Okay, let me get this started. You're gonna need to hold still. Moving around only makes the test take longer. All right, bio scan looks good. You're cleared for entry. Uh, thank you. Okay, the, oh, Jesus. Hello. Welcome to Mars City. This facility serves as the central hub for all scientific research, Attention. archaeological Director study, Bears. and military Please report operations. To central administration. Goal number one at the UAC is the safety and well-being of all employees and guests. To help achieve this goal, we ask you to follow all UAC corporate procedures at all times. This includes restricting your movement to areas for which you have clearance. Always remain alert and aware of what you and others are doing. If you notice anything out of the ordinary, or just have a simple question, find the nearest UAC security guard. They are here to help, no matter how large or small the problem is. Our station on Mars provides a perfect blend of work habitats, recreational facilities, and social support structures. This ensures our goal of providing a true home away from home experience for everyone. Keep this in mind as you help us pursue our groundbreaking research that is destined to transform the daily lives of everyone here and throughout the solar system. If you need more detailed assistance, please see your human resources manager. If you are a guest, you may bring up any issue with your appointed UAC liaison. Thank you, and have a nice day. Okay, so let's see what this is. November is Safety Awareness Month on Mars, and the UAC has scheduled a variety of workshops to help promote a safer work environment for everyone. Download not to learn more what you can do. Error accessing PDA. No card found. Okay, what about over here? Restricted access. Alright, well, crap it. Whoa, whoa. Welcome to Mars. First time? You can just leave your bag there. I'll have it sent up your quarters. Okay, there's a few things we need to take care of first. This is your personal data assistant. You'll need this to access all secure areas. If you get clearance for any security zones, it'll download directly. It's important, so don't lose it. 
I see here that Sergeant Kelly has requested your immediate attention. Head directly to Marine Command. It's just that way. Follow the sign. All right, so let's get into this name. Zelda Master 64. <laughs> okay, then. Oh, that's pretty, that's pretty neat right there. Uh, ID number, that, that, that rank, Marine Security, Security Clearance, Marine HQ. Parts of reception, Kermit's the objective. Perform all your duties in military men. Welcome to Mars, Marine. This briefing is designed to acquaint you with a few of the standard operating procedures here on the Mars post. First and foremost, chain... Okay, so that's it. It's done. So let's speak again. I, I don't want to. No cars found. What? I just got PDA. I can access this, right? No. Nope. Data sent to PDA. Do I hit the tab? Oh, yeah, I hit the tab. Uh. Oh. Oh. So we've been proving all your time. We'll to what we call our home away from home. We'll make sure every effort you say here is as pleasant as possible. And if you need something, please feel free to contact your supervisor for immediate assistance. I hope that you can find the time to take advantage of some of our great staff amen amenities. As a reminder, we engage in technical, highly secure testing and research here. Please refrain from wandering into an unauthorized area. Any security team member will assist you if help is needed. Sincerely, Director William Banks. Welcome to Marine. Wait, welcome to report to Marine Command as soon as possible. Don't waste any time getting here. We're short on troops, and I need you on patrol as soon as possible. Safety is critical to everyone we do on Mars. Oh Jesus, that's a lot. Uh, we will review all standard safety protocols during the month of November. Hey, this tomorrow. Safety Awareness Month. It is a mandatory. It is mandatory that you schedule time to attend each of these available workshops. Harbor plasma handling. Review of the proper storage of plasma. How to handle plasma leaks best way to treat plasma birds. Learn the location and correct use for all the health packs placed throughout the facility. Special attention will be given to you. Waste prevention methods. Health resources are squandering and a large pack is used when only a small pack is needed. Storage of weapons and ammo. A special lecture on the safe storage of weapons and ammo. Fred Nilsson will be giving hands-on lessons to proper targeting and strafing. Oh, excuse me. Emergency loss of environment. This lecture will focus on what you do if you are faced with an air leak, structural failure, or airlock failure. Special care will be paid to the locations of emergency air tanks. See posting outside UHE, UAC Human Resources for times and locations. Video disc is just this. Welcome to Mars, Marine. This briefing is designed to acquaint you oh, with a go. few of the standard operating procedures here on the Mars post. First and foremost, chain of command. All enlisted personnel are under the command of Master Sergeant Thomas Kelly. Sergeant Kelly will assign you to a security detail headed by a security chief. Please report to your security chief for all duty-related concerns. While on duty, please stay in your assigned patrol coverage area. All PCAs have been pre-designated to provide overlapping security and maximize efficiency. All personnel must have proper authorization in assigned areas. Be sure to annotate any discrepancies on your security inspection report. Safety is integral to all operations here on Mars. Handle firearms with extreme caution. Never discharge weapons in an area that may compromise the installation's structural integrity. Remembering these procedures is paramount to your success here on Mars. Keep in mind that you represent the greatest fighting force in the galaxy, and your actions are a reflection on the core. Take good care, and good luck on your new assignment. Uh, I don't get this. The right mouse button is to jump? Are you serious? USC Security is looking for a missing scientist. We need your help to make sure he is found quickly and safely. Data sent. Data sent to PDA. Uh, here we go. Dr. Jonathan Ishii from the Delta Science team is missing. Security is concerned that he may be injured and unable to respond to pages or return to his post. Please keep an eye out for Dr. Ishii and report to UAC Security if he is located. He was last seen in Morris City Underground approaching the airlock leading to the old communications array. Uh, I'm going to try to remember that. Get the notepad out. Take down notes. Okay, 
Okay, Dr. Ishii. Uh, alright then. I also got a video disc. Welcome to. Oh, please, no. On behalf of the UAC, welcome to Mars City. This facility serves as the central hub for all scientific. We already heard this. I don't want to get into it a bit more. Uh. No card found. Alright, well, let's go here then. Where are you? A. Haven't seen you before. Hello. You must be with that new detachment coming to check on us. Yeah. I am. Is there some type of problem? I'm just mm -hmm. trying to get my work done here. I'm oh, sorry. Alright, then maybe to do that. You know, just, uh, Marie. Here, was... Because there seems to be some very serious problems. Oh, really? Do I need to remind you of the groundbreaking work that we're doing here? No. But I've been authorized by the board to look at everything. The board authorized you? Hmm. The board doesn't know the first thing about science. All they want is something to make them more money. Some product. Don't worry. They'll get their product. After how many accidents? Tell me, Dr. Petruger, why are so many workers spooked, complaining, requesting transfers off Mars? They simply can't handle life here. They're exhausted and overworked. If I had a larger, more competent staff and bigger budget, even these few accidents could have been avoided. I'm afraid you'll get nothing more until my report is filed with the board. I will need full access, Dr. Petruga, Delta included. I won't have any difficulties doing that, will I? Only if you get lost, Swan. Just stay out of my way. Amazing things will happen here soon. You just wait. Let's go. Okay then, well, that's an interesting character we met. Dr. Petruger. Uh... I didn't need to shut that off, but whatever. I'm the... Doomery? I don't really know, uh, about this one too, because a lot of Listen, people... Listen, buddy, you don't have clearance for this area. Move along. Alright, Jesus, sorry. It's a nice weapon there. Um, I have seen a bit of Doom 3, uh... Ink... Security clearance. Oh, happy day. Um. Hello. Oh. I don't think I've seen you before. You so. must be a replacement for one of the guys we lost. Yeah. Oh, well, okay, sorry. Let's continue on your way. Can I? I can. Right here. No, I cannot. <laughs> I'm so ready. I look so ready to fight. Uh. Okay, even then, they still have these old mob buckets. General accent, yeah. Uh, this. Oh, so those whoa. Well, let's go over here. Check these out. IPN News Network, your universe now. Oh boy. The Union Aerospace Corporation denied allegations today of several reports showing a growing military presence on Mars. A spokesperson stated that increased activity is simply a tactical deployment to outline. Miller. You hear about Corporal Allen? Yeah. Authorities he he continue to search for the activists responsible in Monday's one, bombing of a biomech production no facility, shit. resulting in the destruction of hundreds yeah. of biomech laborers. I just hope they don't take anyone from in my squad. Space needs. I hate pulling down. Right, well, uh, I hear ya. I'm gonna close that. Nothing. Anyone here? Check this Turbo out. Turbo Turkey Puncher Three. Oh wow. Uh, <laughs> it's a neat Easter egg here. Yeah, if you look at the top right you see a Doom guy. Turbo Turkey Puncher Three. Alright, well uh it's very interesting to see some of these. Oh accidents in Delta. <laughs> accidents? That's good. Is that what they're calling him now? So Tell me, just what the hell is Oh, that is so neat. Well, we had that sort of thing in school. Or anywhere, really. No card found. Attention, Dr. Braddock, please report to Environment Management Office. Please report to Sergeant Alpha. Kelly ASAP. Okay. Command HQ. Okay, Sherlock Holmes, I will. This is Delta Science Management. I would like to request I'm trying to reconfigure this little guy. Here I can't talk now. Okay. Thank you. Uh, actually, I just remembered I got a PDA from someone. Uh, 
Oh, here we go. Adam. Maintenance tech. This is the audio log of maintenance technician Adam Bernache, dated November 10th, 2145. I fixed the couplings on the heat shields this morning with no problems. I did, however, have another odd experience while I was down there. Shortly after finishing the first coupling adjustment, I distinctly heard whispering. When I went to investigate the sounds, I found nothing. Check the work logs, and I was the only person scheduled to be in that area today. That experience, coupled with the stories I've heard from some guys over in the Delta Labs, has me pretty freaked out. I'm really beginning to hate going down to the underground maintenance area. The people down there are a bit off. The mumbling, the weird looks. The whole place is just plain creepy. I'm always expecting someone to jump out at me. I've secured my tools and the busted modulator in the storage cabinet next to the maintenance elevator. Technicians should use cabinet code 396 to access them. End of log. I was gonna keep that in one too. Three nine six. All right. Good to know. Uh, please take more caution in securing your personal data. Assistant, it turned up and lost and found three times this month. As you know, your base security clearances are stored on that. It's a serious security issue at any town. The PDA is lost. Please so your termination. Your report is long overdue. Record an audio log for what you've done today on your maintenance shift and send it to me immediately. I know you reported the cabinet today, and it is imperative that I update my master list with the new code. I do not want to tell you again how important it is to record those codes. Okay, uh... I have some great news for you. Your name came up in our last management meeting as a possible candidate for our Delta Labs Outreach Program. As you have probably heard, we are conducting some very exciting and important experiments here in Delta. Supervisor recommended you as a good candidate, and in fact, he insisted you would be perfect for the job. I reviewed your file, and I agree with this assessment. You will make a perfect set test subject. Our work here is very important to the UAC. You should have privilege, and you have a chance to be a part of it. Mr. K. Clerk C. Delta Future System. P.S. Remember, volunteering is the best choice. I hate to invoke clause 12.A of section 543 of your employment contract, which, if you are not familiar with, allows us to appoint volunteers. No video disc. This is just the same one we got. What's the inventory? We just have fists. I don't get how that's supposed to help out. Oh, I tired. Um, combat prep. Yeah, I know. Uh, oh wait, no, no. Can I? Oh, uh, I don't know if that will work here. Three, nine, six. Yeah, no, it doesn't work. Uh, ba -ba -ba. I'm sorry if I have to keep going back and forth from the whole, from the different uh, things here. Representing yet another great accomplishment of the UAC, the Series 3 plasma gun is an extremely versatile medium-range combat weapon. Harnessing the exhaustive resources of synthetic plasma, the plasma gun meets the critical requirement of low-cost, abundant ammunition for today's highly mobile military. Capable of sustained firepower due to the latest advancements in plasma injector technology, this weapon's lightweight and high yield make it desirable for most combat scenarios. Always on the forefront of technology, the UAC is making safer worlds through superior firepower. Okay then. Oh, hello. Wait a minute. I just went in a huge circle. Are you serious? Oh, whatever. Um. So, what's up? I can't be interrupted now. I've got work to finish. Okay, okay, okay. I didn't mean to interrupt you. Uh, anyways, so. Yeah, I'm sorry I've had to keep going back and forth from the whole, uh. PDA and stuff, just checking out everything, but I wanted to get some details on this subject here. V King. Took your sweet time, Marine. Now, here's the situation. Another member of the science team's gone missing. Since you're the ranking FNG, you get to find him. I want you to check out the old decommissioned comm facility. We heard he might be heading that way. The only way there is through the service passage under Mars City. I've programmed this sentry to guide you to the maintenance elevator. You follow the sentry better than you've followed orders so far. You'll pick up some gear at the security checkpoint at the bottom of the elevator. Oh, when you find him, just 
Just bring him back. Do not hurt him. Now move out. Well, it ain't my fault, really. I mean, like, I had to just... I had to, like, get caught up on everything. You can't expect me to just... I'm gonna write him. I'm gonna write him. I wanna write this entry. Ah. Attention, UAC Here personnel. Interested in earning more credit? Volunteer at Delta Labs today. See your service branch director for more details. Did you hear what Carter said? We can't. What? He said that he saw something. Go, 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 go. The UAC cares about the quality of life of its employees. Please take advantage of our quality medical care services. Okay. I want to take a look at something real quick. Uh, last scene in Mars City Underground approaches the airlock. Okay. Mars City Underground. Storage locker. Oh, 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 396. Holy crap, I got bullets. I don't even know what the heck that is. It's neat. See exploration. I'm doing good. See, I'm good at the game. He says till he uh screws up and just ruins everything. <laughs> oh boy, I'm not gonna do well. Welcome to the dungeon, Marine. Most Hello. unexciting place on Mars. <laughs> I'm gonna need you to grab some armor and secure your pistol before I can pass you through security. Okay, grab your gear. Now you're ready Sweet. for combat. Let me do a radio test. Oh, okay. Mars sec radio check. Excellent. Good signal. Looks like you've been assigned the decommissioned comm facility. Just follow the main passage through the underground junction, then straight out. You'll have a quick evac. And what better way to see the Martian surface than to run across it? Okay, you're all set. Oh yeah, keep in mind, civilians are working down here. Don't get excited and shoot any. Okay, so, uh, one last check to make sure. Uh, underground, or see the underground, whatever. You don't have a lot of time, Marine. You need to move out. I'm doing that, I'm doing that. Restricted. De Young. Hey, you're looking for the scientist, right? Yeah. I'm not sure you want to find him. Why? You see, uh, never mind. What? Don't listen to me. Never mind what I said. Okay, but if I end up dying, it's gonna be your fault for not I've done this a million times. It's not that hard. Why don't you crawl your fat ass down here and do it yourself? Because I'm getting paid to make sure you do it. Just finish the coupling so we can continue. These guys need to have a domestic. Grant Baston. Grant Baston, your environmental services supervisor. The date is October 19th. I've been hearing an alarming number of reports on some uh, unexplainable thing. Being on another planet and working underground has always been a little spooky, so we always have the occasional report of strange things. But what is worrying me is the fact that the number of these reports are up by a lot. People are truly frightened. The rumors we're hearing about experiments from the Delta Complex are not helping. Power fluctuations aren't helping at all either. Having the lights flicker constantly and losing power for several minutes at a time is scaring everyone down here. I'm doing my best to keep people in track, but we're continually shorthanded. Someone's reporting in sick almost every day. I'll keep my director apprised of the situation and will continue to log reports as I get them. Okay, so nothing there. Uh. Is 
zero two three, whichever one it is. All right. Well, sorry, I had to just. Yes, sir. It's just that the science team demands a lot out of these things. Enough excuses. Just do your job and get the science team what they need. Well, I'm doing everything, but I just can't excuse it. Oh, okay, there we go. Hey, you're that new guy headed for the old comm center, right? Yeah. Better hustle up, pal. This passage doesn't go all the way there. You'll have a quick walk outside to the center's airlock. Hey, don't sweat it. Your suit's got plenty of oxygen. I'm gonna take some bullets. And, uh, I'm gonna do some more exploring before I head back up. But I think this is actually the correct area to go to. of sneaking up on people? No. Everyone's already on edge down here with all the strange things that have been going on. The garage area is right through that door. Now stop bothering me. Hey, Jesus, sorry. Yeah, no, I don't see myself being to come up, becoming a Marine soldier anytime soon. I don't think I'm that kind of... I don't think I'm tough enough to do that. Alright. Compression sequence. My oh, that way. <laughs> I knew that. <laughs> Air canister armor shard. There ain't nothing wrong with exploring, is there? The problem is nothing if I run out of oxygen quickly. Come on, come on, let me in, let me in, let me in, let me in, let me in come on. Oh, okay then, that was a close one actually. Ha, found armor shards. Think about that. Marine, this is Sergeant Kelly. You need to double time it down there. Search your assigned area and haul your ass back to Mars City. Out. Yeah, 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 I get it. Cool it already, alright? Doing my best. This is my doom instincts to telling me to explore. Can't blame a guy for exploring. This is what you gotta do. Huh? No, no. You must let me get this communication out. They have to be warned while there is still time. I'm I can't let... I, you don't know what I've seen. You can't possibly understand or comprehend. The devil is real. I know. I built his cave. I'm getting abnormal readings here. Oh, you're the one I had to look for. Okay. All units, this is Sergeant Kelly. We're under attack by an unknown enemy force. Fall back to Marine HQ to regroup. I say again, Dr. fall Ishi. back to Marine HQ and await further orders. What the heck? Sit 
Service bridge. This is Command HQ. Report directly to Marine Headquarters and await further orders. All right, now we're getting to some business here. Operational status of the grid is 23% over nominal capacity. I've increased work shifts to 12 hours a day for all personnel to keep up with the The constant and increasing load from the Delta complex is causing it. We are going to start losing critical systems if we have to sustain these levels much longer. I request clearance to requisition parts of the department to work and maintain it. Okay, I don't know what's going on with the Delta, but I'm doing all I can. Constant demands are and I gotta tell you, if things don't get better soon, all hell is gonna break loose. Ha, how ironic. Okay, there's one more. This is the audio log of Frank Delahue, engineering manager of the power production of the Reclamation problems continue to plague the main processor. Two more problems in the These overloads can destroy the valves, causing very dangerous fire, jetting with enough heat to incinerate sensitive equipment nearby. Today we have only one report of injury as a result of this route. What the? This is due in large part to the quick response of the engineering team. Our procedure of entering the failure code 842 and the operation terminal has proved adequate, and I recommend no changes in that procedure. Where the heck am I supposed to go? Oh, here we go. Hi, what's up? Okay, that was an imp, I guess. Alright, that was
Now you reload. Are you serious? Whoa, hey. Well, what the heck? Ah, oh, crap it! Need a stronger gun. Oh my god. Jesus Christ. All units, this is Sergeant Kelly. We don't know what we're up against. Hey, I see ya. Oh, hey. All units, this is Sergeant Kelly. Fall back to Marine A. Wait for the order. Well, they nailed it with the possessed thing. That's the same as Doom 1. What the heck? Okay, that was, uh... I mean, that was unexpected. All remaining Marine units, this is Sergeant Kelly. I am unable to reach Mars City from my current position. Move to Marine HQ to regroup and wait further orders. Just die. Take bullets. Hey, you. Up here. Quickly. Oh, hey, I got help. I thought I was the only one still alive. I can't believe I found you. Something happened. I don't know what it is. It was like a shockwave. Yeah, thank it you. Passed through the entire base. People started changing. It was crazy. I, I was working up here on the vent shafts. I don't know how I survived. Go for help. Please. We'll do. Be on. careful. I don't know what's in there. I'm pretty sure I know exactly what's in here. Demons. The spawns of Satan and everything else. Hello. Oh hey. Yeah, I found your scientist. Yeah, nothing good came from it. So yeah, med kids. Okay, well. Marcus Stanton. Stanton? Wait, what? Stanton. This is Mark Stanton. Manifest controller currently stationed at Mars City. I'm not sure who to send this to, so I decided to send it to quite a few. If you're on the list, please take a moment to review this report. 
for. It is quite yes! I'm very concerned over the shipping procedures out here. I am the manifest controller, and as such, I need to be informed of everything coming in and out of Mars City. Someone here is subverting my position and preventing me from getting data on things being shipped. This is unacceptable. Not only could this reflect poorly on my upcoming review, but this is my job and I'm tired of being out of the loop. I have no idea who keeps telling the shipping crews to allow things in and out without allowing me to produce or procure the manifest. But whoever it is, it must stop. Stay one of the dock workers actually told me he would piss off when I tried to position. stop one of the last containers no from going straight to Delta. I immediately filed a report to follow up with the transit manager uh, next time I see him. End of law. Oh, hey, you got clip. Die, okay. Woo! But what the ah! Okay, well. Ah, what the? What the? What the heck? Jesus Christ, okay, I need some help. Speak of the devil, there's health. I just don't know what to do. Whoa. Oh, Jesus! Uh, Jesus, finally! Okay. Why did I get adrenaline? <laughs> Bill Tyson, alright. Oh, uh, quick, 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 quick. Audio report on troop morale. Morale here is beginning to drop. It's nothing to worry about yet since I keep my Marines sharp and ready to go. But events at the base are wearing on the troops. There have been a lot of things happening here on the base. I believe the UAC experiments being performed here must be the cause. Out here, they could be experimenting on God knows what. There are quite a few people missing. No Marines, of course. It's the civilian population I am referring to. Bottom line, whatever it is they have going on here has my men on a racer's edge. At this point, there is no cause for alarm, but I am requesting we rotate squads every 90 days instead of every 180. I will continue to report as the situation develops. Connection is Good we have the new Marines en route? Marine. Fresh faces will help. I can't believe Sergeant you're still Tyson. alive. Out. I'm unable to return to Mars City. All passages out of the Delta complex have been blocked. I'm setting up a command post here. I can monitor status reports of the entire base from Delta Central Authority and communicate with other Marine teams. It's your mission to link up with Bravo team and get that transmission sent. Head toward Alpha Labs. It's the fastest way to find them. I'll update your PDA security clearance from here. Good job. And good luck, Marine. Ah, uh, thank you. Uh, salute. Alright. Saving. Uh... 
Audio report confirming new troop deployments for the Mars City Marine Facility, October 30th, 2145. The new troops will be arriving within a few days. I've started a series of training exercises focusing on close quarter small weapons combat as well as instituting mandatory repression courses what the heck? munitions and weapons and armor. In response to the large number of security breaches and general feelings of ill will around the base, I've doubled security details to the security check this additional presence of calm things down. I expect that the incoming Marines are not quite as green as the last deployment. They've turned out okay, but some combat experience will go a long way right now. Sergeant Tyson, out. Thanks, Sergeant Tyson. Uh... Right, well... You're just now reloading? Oh, come on. from now. Marine, if you run across any operational sentry bots, use them. Those guys pack a lot of firepower. Well, keep that in mind. Thank you. Uh, can I bash these guys over the head with a fire extinguisher? The UAC is here to help you. Psychological services are free. What the heck? Oh my god. What? What the heck was that? What the? Oh crap. Okay, that actually caught me by surprise. Uh, I did not expect that. Cause like, I look at the mirror and I just... I was just expecting something funny about like a, I don't know, an officer on the on the crapper, now that sort of thing. Not surprise, surprise, you're turning into a freaking zombie. Oh, hello. Are you gonna leave me? Let's see. Shells. Yeah, hey, I'm here. I'm here. You gotta get the Bravo team. They need all the firepower they can get. Sending yep. that transmission is critical to our survival. Duncan Matthews. I need to find his. Oh, oh that's it. Matthews, huh? Well... Ah, Duncan Matthews! There he is. Okay, no audio logs on file. Well, lucky me, because we actually needed his entire thing. Here we go. Uh, 
Alright then. Okay, 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 let's uh... Okay. Woo! Alright then. I don't think you understand, Dr. Petruger. No, I understand everything. I'm telling you now, Doctor, the UAC is taking over this operation. Operation? Is that what you're calling it? The situation is out of control. It's not out of control, Swan. You are. I'll manage this, and you and your flunky will be taking control of nothing. Do you understand? Yes, Petruger. I think I do understand. Okay, plan B. went to the Stormtrooper Academy for missing shots. Stay down. Welcome to the Alpha Labs. Formally designated Phase 1 by the Union Aerospace Offworld Research Division. The Terminal Alpha Labs began construction on October library. 29th, 2095 and became fully operational July 17th. Originally created as the prime science and research facility. Oh, hey. Oh, well, hey. Research facility. Delta Labs. Stay out of my way. I'm good. Top off and help. Alan Dorweiler. <laughs> okay, okay, I need... No audio log, alright. Now, what's the whole video disc? Welcome to the Alpha Labs. Formerly designated Phase 1 by the Union Aerospace Offworld Research Division, the Alpha Labs began construction on October 29, 2095, and became fully operational July 17, 2130. Originally created as the prime science and research facility, Alpha Labs are responsible for the development of leading edge technology such as the Elemental Phase Deconstructor, Hydrocon and molecular fuel storage compressor, all presently being utilized right here in the Alpha Labs. These endeavors have allowed for much needed expansion into the UAC's current leading research facility, Delta Labs, where Union Aerospace is opening all new opportunities in research and development. With continued investment and hard work, the Union Aerospace Corporation strives for excellence and is committed to building a better tomorrow. Exposed per exposed person, he's a liar. We fire a shotgun already, come on. What? Don't stop, buddy. There's nothing you can do for me. They're all gone. Surprised us. This came out of nowhere. There's still a few squads operating. But they're all cut off from each other. Try to find them. Put you out of your misery. Don't worry. Everything's gonna be alright. Access denied. Oh great.
Okay, so I gotta find... Whoa, Jesus. <laughs> oh my god, that one hit went flying. Oh, that's the best. I love the grenades. Why are you now just Oh crap, oh crap. Ah! There you go. Where do you think you're going? Die! I thank you for the med kit. Oh, Jesus. Wait a minute, was this where they were? Yeah, it was. Fire. Yeah, this is where those guys were. Yeah, the vent's right there. That's where, um. Yeah, you guys don't want to be now. Oh my god, it's a pinky! I don't think my body's ready for this. Gosh, it's like the same pinky from, um... Doom 2005. Hey, what's up, man? Ah! That was a... I will say it now, I was underwhelmed. Ah, Jesus! Ah, died. Jeez, okay. Like, yeah, I will admit, I was a bit underwhelmed at that now. Hey, a pinky! I guess he's the same pinky from, uh... Oh, Jesus. Okay, die. Down, doggy. Down. See, I thought it was... You... Where the heck did you come from? Wait a minute, when did this game come out? Cause... Now I'm wanting to think that this is just, uh... Marine, game Bravo based off of... That some sort of unidentified growth taking over parts of the base. Oh crap. I don't know what it is, but it can't be good. Stay sharp. I want to do something real quick. I want to go back down here. There's an area of here that I haven't seen yet. Jonathan Moses. No audio logs. Free stuff! If you're a quick reply, we'll have it delivered to your office at the end of the week. Excellent. I can't believe it showed up so soon. Please have someone delivered to my office in the North Hall of Fame. They've sent me Jonathan. Okay. 
there's no audio file and I don't know. Oh, what? I don't know the combination. <sighs> Hold up. There's gotta be some clues around here or something. Clues in the PDA. Uh, let's try 2145. Can I just open it up then? Uh, let's try... Actually... Two, four, six, three. Okay, that didn't work. Well, crap, I guess I won't be able to get to that then. everything but computers aren't responding i can't get root access to the systems we can't do it here we'll have to access the system somewhere else all right let's go it's a big gun a big freaking gun freaking gun <laughs> oh i've already been in here Oh god, get out of here, get out of here, gotta get out of here, gotta get out of here. Oh Jesus! Oh Jesus! Oh Jesus! Attention that we have an alarming number of missing personnel in the levels. Four additional reports from Delta in the last week alone, mentioning that personnel are not reporting for work and that calls to their quarters have gone unanswered. My office has sent the names of those personnel to Mars City Security, and they have promised to initiate an investigation. But this news is very disturbing. Especially at a time when we have so many people in the infirmary suffering from sudden cases of schizophrenia and other psychological disorders. I hope there is no connection between those cases and these reports of missing personnel. Alright, uh, what about... This is the audio log of Director William Banks, dated October 5th, 2145. It's moving. It has been brought to my attention by environmental services that the recent power grid changes have caused many non-critical systems to malfunction. The report explains that this is due to either intermittent power outages or lower than optimal voltage input. It also says that sufficient power distribution to all non-critical systems is becoming more difficult to maintain thanks to Dr. Vitruber and his so-called optimization to the energy stores in and around the facility. I assured the director of ES that I would file a report with central authority over this. It didn't go to the Federation, didn't it? Uh, religious artifacts. A 
Call this course repeatedly about the response. What the heck? Oh Jesus! Oh Jesus! Yeah, whispers before uh, they appear. What the heck? Oh, I got both of them! Yes! I need help. This is where I was at. failed boarding network login oh Jesus screw you actually I want to check something real quick I know that if I go... How flubs one. Now I just want to explore what was up there. No, it won't let me. Well, crap. Well, great. This is just perfect, isn't it? <sighs> Woo! Okay, then. Well, crap. Uh, I mean... Marines, I've received a report that you haven't reached Bravo team yet. You need to pick up the pace. You can't wait for it. Reaching the communication very quickly is imperative. Uh, uh, airlock can open up. Oh. Pocket full of rosies. Eat the bullets. Eat the bullets. Ow. 
Ah, Jesus. Take it easy. Researchers have developed dramatic solutions. Oh, Jesus Christ. Mars itself is our chief ally and the key to our solution. Look around at its vast red desert. We have developed a process that destabilizes the polarized iron oxide. Explain me what the crap is going on around here. Okay, access the PDA. Audio log for Kyle Berger, research supervisor for the EPD project. Uh, the uh, the elemental phase deconstructor is fully operational, and the research data we have gathered so far is very impressive. Unfortunately, we had a terrible accident last week. Research assistant Patterson was calibrating one of the quark emitters in the chamber. And witnesses say he appeared to see something. It's almost like something's talking to And the uh, background in the quiet. It was not a pretty sight as it took off the backside of his head. He lived a few minutes, although I'm not sure he considered that living. But they say his eyes rolled back and forth and he was trying to talk, although after losing that much brain matter, I'm sure it was just reflex actions. Anyway, who did this? I have enacted new safety protocols in the lab, and we have stocked one of the storage cabinets with emergency medical supplies. The code for the cabinet is 752. End of Alright, got grenades now. I gotta go in there. Uh, voice disc. For generations, humankind has lived under the looming specter of slowly dwindling natural resources. Our new ventures on planets like Mars have only intensified our need to find fresh sources for metal. Oh, great. Petrochemicals. Food. Water. And to meet that need, UAC researchers have developed dramatic solutions. Solutions that will soon pay off for the UAC, its investors, and indeed the entire human race. Mars itself is our chief ally and the key to our solution. Look around at its vast red deserts, rich in naturally occurring iron oxide, made of the raw materials of our future. We have developed a process that destabilizes the atomic structure of polarized iron oxide and separates it into subatomic particles which are then siphoned off to create new elements. Like alchemists of old, the elemental phase deconstructor allows us to transform red Martian soil into clean air, 
fresh water, and hydrogen fuel. The blue box for a sustainable, human-friendly Martian environment. And this is only the beginning. With continued research, we envision creating ever more complex molecules, even organic matter itself. Atom by atom, the UAC is building an ever brighter future for humankind. Yeah, it's uh, nice and dandy and all, but uh... Jack Smith, what do you gotta say, man? Audio log for Jack Smith, a benefits analyst in HR 1024-2145. I just went through another batch of accident reports from the science team. We've had five more people hurt this week while working with the equipment. The most serious incident was one John Hughes, whose hand was caught in one of the plastic extrusion systems. He was performing maintenance on it and states that he unplugged it and had the safety key in his pocket. It managed to activate without an apparent power source and uh, shredded his arm up to the elbow before someone got him out. Wow, it's wow, been reported wow. that the uh, machine is still running shut it down. The cost on that incident alone is enough to raise the red flag, but Gas this is just one in a pile. Fire We're extinguished. going to overrun our budget on benefits payout this quarter. And while it's not my department, I have to assume that the new equipment budget is going to be blown out as well, because according to these reports, the equipment's breaking down on a daily basis. Please mark this for review at corporate and the blog. All right, well, is there anything else you have to report? Or is that just going to keep continuously scanning? Okay, it's going to continuously scan. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus Christ! What the heck? I went the wrong way. What the heck? I mean, people weren't wrong when they said this was a horror game. Doom, you don't stop to take breaks.
Oh, what the heck? Ah. Oh, hey, there's another one. I'm on the edge of my toes. Ah, die. 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 Safer worlds for everyone. For centuries. People on Earth have waged war over two things vital to human existence, fuel and water. As part of its ongoing commitment to create safer worlds for everyone, the UAC has unveiled its upcoming of the Hydrocon. In its prototype stages, the Hydrocon will, in one dramatic move, forever end all shortages of water and fuel. By splitting iron oxide water, the Hydrocon produces oxygen and hydrogen cheaply and safely without the need for large amounts of electricity. The hydrogen is then used for hydrogen fuel, a substance so versatile and clean that it can be used in everything from home appliances to today's most demanding rocket engines. A side benefit of producing this fuel is an endless supply of pure, spring-like water that is more refined than any earthbound spring. We envision a world where technologies such as the Hydrocon can be used to end drought and civil strike in impoverished nations Good. where water or oh, fuel have never been in Man, I'm never glad to see you. I While thought it was all alone. Of I'm freaking spooky. Research and development. The Hydrocon corner from the circuit is not stable. Of the be careful of that gun. A straight bullet into the glass yeah. shields could blow the whole area. I'm gonna try and get this thing stabilized. I'll head to the science office when I have this under control. Thanks, uh, yes is what I need. <laughs> We're alone. No audio files. Ah! Ah! Take that! Okay, uh, listen, uh, I don't mean... Uh... Whoa, whoa! Jesus Christ! Jesus Christ! Jesus Christ! Jesus Christ! Ah, Jesus! I tried to go before. Safer worlds for everyone. Oh, Jesus. Where the heck is it? Ah! dramatic move forever end all shortages of water and fuel by splitting iron oxide molecules the hydrocon produces oxygen and hydrogen cheaply and safely without the need for large amounts of electricity the hydrogen is then used for hydrogen fuel a substance so versatile and clean that it can be
Did he die? Die, 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 just die. Holy crap, okay. Whoa! Labs too. All right, then. I'm just gonna ah ha. Ah, darn it. Oh, I can't play Super Turkey Puncher 3. Oh, but that's my game. Jesus Christ. Broadcasting on a very low frequency. If you can hear me, I'm not far. Oh, Jesus Christ! Stop it. It's not cool. Oh Jesus Christ, I thought he was dead. Don't mind me, hold up. Just kinda ah, there we go. Andrew Chin. Audio report regarding the disrespectful treatment of new research staff. September 14th. 2145. As you know, I have gone to considerable effort to recruit my staff researchers for Alpha Lab. Finding team members with the qualifications, let alone the willingness to come to Mars, has not been a trivial task. You know this already. But it is necessary that I emphasize why their complaints must be taken seriously. We won't be able to keep our people or recruit new researchers if the harassment continues. No, harassment is exactly the right word. I'm routinely getting reports of UAC security asking inappropriate questions and submitting my staff to unnecessary background checks. I must insist that we be allowed to keep our personal lives private and be left to complete our assignments without further delays. 
If there is some kind of security threat, I suggest that UAC security look more deeply into their own staff. This is Andrew Chin, and you. All right, so we got some storage cabinet for number 38, or 038 in this case. These suckers are very creepy. Wait, what? Why is it? I'm losing oxygen. The specialist teams ask the big question. Can we devise a way to store and deliver that fuel to make the dream of deep Let's space go. recent a reality? The answer has been a resounding yes. Under the direction of Dr. Malcolm Batuka, he was... ...they've been able to use the actual space of and protons and molecules as a storage medium of the fuel in our interplanetary antimatter drive. Once they got half the payload of an interplanetary ship, only a variety of reports they've located your position but are unable to move to your current location. What the Connors? Head to engineering and try to link up with them in sector three. Head to engineering and find it uh, for labs three. Audio log for Walter Connor. The MFS compressor is producing fantastic results. The latest modification I made to the dive matrix with a real key to the recent breakthrough. All in all, I feel my work on this project has been a that propelled everything forward. I've also taken a set amount of time each day to make sure that everyone is doing their job and of course I check all of their data to ensure that no mistakes are made. This is going to be a huge money maker for the company. I honestly, without my input and hard work, I'm not sure if I would have gotten this far. I wanted also to thank you for your supervisory role in the project. Working with you is a true honor. Just remember me in the end of the year report, says I'm certain I deserve a promotion. Uh, Walter out. All right, well, uh, you should never get my ace out of die back for chin. Thirty-nine one oh two. What the heck? Need to remember to get my eight sided die back from Chin. She never have lent it until in the first place. He never invited me to play. He is not my friend. Oh, what does Walter Chin have to say? What the heck? Walter Connors, dear Chin, I'm writing in regards to the eight sided die you borrowed from me. You're not going to invite me to the game. I don't want my eight sided die back in two weeks. I'm very irritated. Oh, that was from him. Okay. Wow, I. I. Oh. Die. Oh, hey. Look, look you should die. can help you. The lights are all out. Uh, I'll lead you through here if you can get me off this base. Sure. Uh, I'm just gonna do a check. I can't wait. Okay. Electromagnetic pulses have knocked out the electrical systems in this area. Watch out. A big one could knock out our lights.
what was that? Stay close. Crap! I got a BFG cell! Heck yeah! Welcome, by the way. There's the exit. Ah. Ha. Oh, no, Ed. Crap, I completely forgot to... Give me a moment, guys. I actually have to do something real quick. What oh, did I already do that? I doubt I did. Okay. Of course, I got... yeah, I, I probably should have gotten all this done beforehand, but I got too excited and I completely forgot to. Uh... Tweet out and message out and. Yeah, all that. What, Jays? Alright. Uh. Back to the game, I'm completely sorry to pause there. Oh Jesus Christ, what the heck? Oh no, spiders. Oh darn, I hate spiders. Ah! Oh my god. Ah, Jesus! Ah! Oh crap, spiders, spiders have- ah! There's spiders everywhere! Ah, so was I- Ah, Jesus Christ, I hate spiders so much! Die! Ah, they look like face huggers! Oh, Jesus!
Is that it? Is that all of them? Please tell me that's all of them. Oh, I hate this so much now. Why was I excited to play this game? Spiders. Ugh, Jesus, my skin sorry is itching. Ugh, God, why? Open bay door. Oh my god, why spiders? Why spiders of all things? Did they get him? Oh Jesus! Okay, I thought it was another spider. No spiders, no spiders whatsoever. God, I hate spiders so much. Oh God, Jesus Christ! Mother freaking, I hate this. Oh. Excuse me. Oh Jesus, I hate the I hate spiders so much. Mark Lamia. This is Operations Coordinator Mark Lamia. Dated November 1st, 2145. I'm filing this report because I am frustrated beyond belief by the level of incompetency I have to deal with here. I don't know where HR is getting the new employees, but the last five guys they've sent me were all a bunch of idiots. They can't get any of their work done on time. I constantly have to keep an eye on them. They work slow, they don't follow any of the standard operating procedures, and they can't even remember basic things that I tell them. For example, I changed the cabinet door codes here to one, two, three, because I thought that was easy enough to remember, but they still forgot. I don't understand why HR can't get me better people. I'm requesting full authority to hire and fire my own employees. It's the only way I can run my department smoothly. End of log. Actually, hold up. There's a like an officer out here or something. I'm just gonna. Oh Jesus Christ! Oh, ah! Yeah! No spiders! Spiders! No spiders! No spiders! No spiders! No spiders! No spiders! Where's the BFG we needed? Ah! Jesus Christ! Ah, kill the spiders, darn it! That's what you need. Spiders, kill them all! Ah! I hate spiders! Why? Okay. Oh God, I hate spiders. I'm not feeling well today. I don't think I'll be able to come to work. Could you get someone to do my shift? Q for analysis. Yikes. George Puta. I'm feeling under the weather today. Working on watching your department. I usually get go on like this, but I'm so excited for this opportunity. My last point is to appreciate my skills the way you do. I've taken the crates from your office to your quarters as you request, and I organize your closet to your specifications. I'd like to add that you have excellent taste in music. Once again, please let me know if there's anything you can do to help better serve the UAC. 
So, Dusty Welch is the better one of the two, and the, and the rest are just idiots. Just like regular, uh, like a regular game of the crane game. I thought I got it. levels decreased 50%. Okay, and just up left sector four. Hey, grenades, all right. Put 
Do not show up for your shift on Wednesday. This is the fourth time this month you have missed a shift. I'm getting tired of your pathetic excuses. You had two prosthetic <laughs> You had two prosthetic exams last month, and I will not fall for the excuse again. See yourself unnoticed, Mr. Puta. Tired of your boss getting you down. If you want to make your own hours, looking for the chance to double even triple your income. Well, here's your big opportunity. It's as easy as logging on to www.marshmallow.com to find out how easy it is for you. So that's the reason why he kept. Oh, that's why. Oh, Jesus. Jesus Christ. I am on edge right now. Number forty eight. To be Nope, okay. Jesus. They look like face huggers, don't they? You cannot deny, they look like that. Aim for the head. Kill him like that. Oh no. Where, 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 where? Why is my skin crawling?
Oh, Jesus! Ah, Jesus. My skin is twitching right now. Why are you now reloading all of a sudden? Ah. Hey, Pinky! Ah, Jesus! Find health and fast, but I'm gonna die. trapped in the chamber when the power went out. I don't know what's going on here. I don't understand why none of the systems are responding. I'm going to try to get an uplink into the main system from here. This is a secure terminal. I might be able to get a connection. Hi, well, we got two P... Well, yeah, a couple of things, actually. Security log number 3072 for Delta Security Chief Michael Abrams, November 15th, 2145. 
I've just come from the Armament Division where I was issued one of the new BFG 9000 series weapons. <laughs> well, they weren't kidding about how much lighter it is over previous prototype models. Won't be so bad carrying this one around. <laughs> Anyhow, for a couple of weeks now, many of the security teams have not been following proper reporting procedures. Not sure if it's the format of the new SIR, so... I'll make sure each team is scheduled by training division to get spun up on the new reports. There have been some security issues in the Alpha Labs. I sent a team over to investigate, and now I can't reach them on any comm channel. I guess I'll have to go over there myself. Well, I'm headed over there now. I'll finish the security report in full when I get back. Oh yeah, one more thing. I'm gonna leave this BFG locked in my office for now. Please have IT security change my door code to 901. Sure as hell don't need anyone messing around with it. Chief Abrams, end of law. All right, sweet. So we, cause we just gotta find Abrams' uh, office. We need our hands on the BFG. Actually, hold on. I just gotta. I to go to the video discs. In a quest to provide armies with a well-balanced set of weapons, UAC looked to the past when designing and manufacturing the newest line of Mach 2 chain guns. The retro style and mechanical sturdiness of the chain gun is a must. With all the punching you need in close combat fighting, the chain gun delivers unparalleled reliability and functionality. Always on the forefront of technology, the UAC is making safer worlds through superior fire. Abram's office if we can. Oh, come on, not spiders. Feeling on my arm. Follow me. Come on, hurry. They took my baby. <laughs> what the heck? System with two possible routes through. Activating the system will get you a direct route, but it's dangerous. Extending the service bridges is safer, but the lighting systems are fried. Make a choice. Good luck. I wish you could go both routes, but I can't. Uh. This is the audio log of plant manager Henry Nelson, dated October 24th, 2145. I don't know how I should report this, so I'll just talk about what I know and what I need. I've had quite a few employees reporting to me that they've heard strange sounds, like voices talking to them, calling them, even when they were alone. At first, I didn't believe them. The guys down here like to kid around, but they assured me they were serious. I ignored the stories at first, until one day, I heard something too. I was working on the lift up service and I distinctly heard the voice of someone saying, over here. I quickly turned to see who was there, but the passage was completely empty. I looked around, but I didn't see that at all. I even checked the work box, and no one else was working with that. Oh, come on, spiders! I don't want to sound crazy here, but my guys and myself are a little bit different. Some of the guys are really talking about folks. So, to make everyone, including myself, feel a little more comfortable, I'd like to request that the security team make a thorough check of the EFR area. Thank you, Henry Nelson. Got 
gosh, my skin is itching. Itching and I want to go home. about guys plenty to worry about plenty to worry about at all times Fighters! You die. I'm gonna keep screaming my head off. Piece of junk. Over here. Jesus Christ. Ah! Spiders! Oh, great. Cut me from the rock and hard place, huh? Oh, boy.
The only way through is by traversing the EFR, mechanical subsystem with two possible routes through it. Activating the system will get you a direct route, but it's dangerous. Extending the service bridge to the space the lighting Oh, Jesus! Oh, why is it have to be spiders in this?
six. No. Oh, it's six five one. What the heck? Oh, thank you so much. Okay. Oh, hey. go so what's going on now I know oh. I think if I kill you all the others oh, ah! what the heck situation yeah you know it leads me to wonder why it is that they didn't kill her already open bay doors how flaps for all right well i killed the spider mastermind is that Oh. Bravo team, entry secure. Move in and take positions. Quiet. Did you hear that? This is Lee. Give me status. Always clear. There's nothing here, Sam. What the hell? Unknown. We're carrying a military transmission card. It's vitally renewable. It's a 
encoded data needed to send a distress signal to the fleet. I'll find that card and find it fast. Gun on you, buddy. such a little pal. Okay. Continue on with my little pal. Alright, back to our path a little, buddy. Yeah, okay, you did your service, whatever. Doesn't matter. Bye, buddy. You. Oh, Jesus Christ. Ah! Lost soul. Sixty three. Theresa something. Teresa Chesar. This is the audio log of weapon analyst Teresa Chesar, dated November 3rd, 2145. I'm pleased to report that the preliminary tests on the ammo storage in the new Mach 3 plasma gun has far exceeded our expectations. We realized a full 50% gain in the storage capacity of ammo packs as a result of utilizing techniques engineered in the Alpha Lab molecular compactor. I believe with the ongoing compaction research, we will reach our goal of three times the plasma storage currently available in standard ammo packs. I would also like to mention that all of the employees here at the NPRO plant have been very helpful and quite eager to accommodate all of my requests. For security reasons, I've locked the plasma gun and the extra ammo in locker 063 with door code 972. End of lock. Service bridge now operational. Sweet. Oh, great. More lost souls. God, these things are so freaking scary.
Oh, Jesus. Plant manager can suck it. Someone like something from here. The big, big thing. Oh, hey. Oh, 
Oh, what the heck? So far in the game. Oh, Jesus. The teleporters. That's always good to know.
Steve Hammer, service technician. Since Private Swenson wigged out, shot up that drink machine, then lit himself up with a plasma gun, we've all been a bit nervous. All of us in maintenance knew he was losing it. Finally, when that darn drink machine wouldn't accept his credits, he lost it. Started swearing up and down. You had to laugh when that machine lit up, but before any of us could react, he fed himself enough plasma to power an office building. There wasn't enough head to clean up. Just vapor. It's a bad thing to happen to anyone. Anyway, I know with all the psych problems we've had lately, we need the additional security, but when the guards start going nuts, I don't know, all this extra weapons and ammunition. I mean, do we really need so much firepower laying around? Well, a couple of us decided to lock up all of the unsecured plasma rounds we could find. The code is 734. I think we'll all sleep a bit better tonight knowing it's locked up. Problem solved. Side. I don't think I have enough to get enough oxygen to get over there. Oh boy, here we go. What's that cocky demon? It's a cocky demon. What the heck? <laughs> no 
want to think this is a secret. Oh my god, what the heck is... Okay, yeah, that is where I need to go. Oh boy. Oh, come on, I thought I was through with you guys. Ah, uh, darn it. Oh, please don't have to go through the entire thing with the... Woo, okay. Well, great. Fire, Jesus Christ! Was a Kaga demon. I think we're gonna die. Get out of here. 
trans energy Take a chainsaw. Recent transport issues from Site 3 have come. APAs, does anything work? Does it? Finish this later. Hmm. Alright, what do we do? He's got. What are we gonna do with all those chainsaws? We've got two shipments of excess metal equipment coming in very soon. We're gonna need the space. I can't believe some missed. Ship those things. I can't think of more useless pieces of equipment than chainsaw on Mars. Anyways, you gotta help me get rid of these beamer tools. Uh, you stay too many. All research at site one this includes McNeil projects. Excuse me, what the heck? I didn't see you there, cock demon. Ah, oh, cock demon, I can't reach.
Okay. This is the audio log of Officer Ron Ridge, dated October 16, 2145. Recent transport tunnel accidents are causing major headaches for both supply and maintenance. Each accident caused is an estimated one to three hours so delay. So an idea would do those things, won't you throw them down some chasm near the intro? It's becoming that certain you the other need crap. safety adjustments as well as recommitment to driving safety by all personnel. The Impro to Com Center route has shown the biggest increase in accidents over the past six months. Safety signs and approved lighting are needed throughout the main junctions over the stretch of tunnels and paths. Absolutely, no recreational vehicle traffic should be allowed during peak hours. All personnel should use monorail travel whenever possible to keep Service cargo shipments flowing smoothly. I raised the lift up, I didn't mean to. Great. 
Oh, come on. <coughs> Guys, I think it just might end off the stream here. Um, was uh, very fun and interesting. I enjoyed it a lot. Back demon. So yeah, thank you guys again for, thank you guys so much for joining me in the stream. If you like what you saw here, head on over to my Patreon, support me, and help keep the uh, channel going. If you enjoy the stream, look the quick button below. Uh, if you want more of this, uh, comment, subscribe, and... Follow me on Twitter, follow me on Wattpad, and I will see you all later. Bye-bye.